Hey guys! As you are watching this, I am at Comic Con in London, probably digging myself into a grave of expensive anime merchandise. It's like a big anime shopping trip. So what's the one thing you do before you go on an expensive trip away to Comic Con? You do a haul of all the stuff you're probably going to buy at Comic Con. Probably says somewhere in the title that this is a huge haul, so just how huge? <sighs> yeah, I... I was bad. But the good news is, you guys get to watch me unbox it and show you and maybe it's cool and you'll like it. I don't really know, I like to watch people do these videos, so... I mean, you clicked on it. Most of this haul is either Yuri on Ice or Psychopaths, but there are some other things in here, so keep watching. So the first thing I'm going to breeze over really quick because there is already a whole video about just this item, or items. And that is my Yuri on Ice bondage keychains. These are seriously so nice, so huge. And if you haven't seen the video on these already, I'll link it up here somewhere. Because, oh my god, were they an ordeal. But the reason I'm just mentioning them really, really quickly at the beginning of this video is because they sort of started off this huge, unstoppable need in me to buy all the things that I could find for sale on Japanese auction sites, which is where a lot of this stuff came from. So I'll try and let you know what store everything's from. I'll probably put links in the description or more information in the description, so please check the little description box and so on. And everybody will be happy spend time writing those. So um, I have pretty much no idea what's in each of the boxes so I'm just gonna start going through them. So I've shoved a lot of the smaller items into some of the bigger boxes so this says it's from Amazon Japan. Not necessarily everything in here is from Amazon Japan. I've just put it all in one box. So the next thing that I'm going to show you guys that I bought is um, something else that I was bidding on like the keychains and You'll see why I had to have this. It is this. It is Victor in a flower crown. Oh my god. So this includes the clear file, the badge and the keychain. So this is the design they all have on them and I did only get Victor. I think these were only available if you went to a convention in Japan you could get them there. I haven't seen them anywhere for general sale. But the main reason I got this was for this keychain. Oh, just look at him. This is so, so nice. Aside from the fact that he's wearing a white shirt, which I like, and it's unbuttoned, and he has a beautiful flower crown, and his expression is gorgeous, and I just, I, I needed this. I mean, I needed everything here, but I needed this. So if I'm not lazy, I'll probably have like a price and where I bought it from somewhere in the metadata of this video. But yeah, these are the first items. I'm gonna go in this bag next because I mean I've opened it to see what it was because I had no idea what this was when it arrived. But this is actually from a British website which is so shocking that they would have these things. So I'm gonna do these ones next. So from this website I got myself three keychains and I got myself Kogami and Akane from Psychopath. They're so cute, look at them! And also, I got Seal and Sebastian from Black Butler, ballroom dancing, because you know. And for some weird reason, Akane took like a, more than a month to arrive after the whole rest of the order had arrived, which was strange. And I also got this, a Kagami plush. So I got this little plush of Kagami from Psychopaths, and you could get Kagami, Akane, or uh, Makishima, but you can't get Gino. Why? Why won't people let me have a tiny cuddly husband? I mean, I, I know I have a big one, but I want a little one as well. So I got Kagami, and these are actually pretty hard to find now. They're, they're sold out in most places, but um, this website had one, so I had to buy myself a little soft Shinya. So also when I was bidding for stuff, I was an idiot. <laughs> I bought this um, poster from Japan because it was really really cheap and I didn't realize that when they shipped it in this giant tube it was gonna be really really expensive you live and learn so I can't see you guys so I have no idea where I'm gonna put this but it had my husband on it so it needed to be in my possession did I get another poster oh yeah I did I got this one 
which is just a little print, a little print scroll of some fan art from uh, Victor from Euro and I. And then I also got these, which are just like these little acrylic standy type things. And I got Victor and Yuri. There were numerous characters you could get, and you could get them in basically any of their various outfits, but I picked these two because, I don't know, I just I just liked these two. Okay, something not Yuri on Ice themed. I know, right? Like, why would anyone ever want to say that? But I got this cute Espeon keychain. Espeon is my favourite evolution. Second is Vaporeon. And it was so cute! I, lo I love Yuri. I love the evolutions. I love Espeon. It's a cute, it's a cute little pink kitty cat. Like, what is not to like? But um, obviously nowhere ever does anything furret, which is my favourite Pokemon. So I went for this one. Ah, <laughs> uh, I'd, I'd kind of almost forgotten about this one. Fire. I do. I do this. I mean, if I, if if I just if I just show you this bit. I promise I'm not cheating on my husband. You know me. I'm a Fujoshi. I like all things like novelty, not safe for work anime boys. Oh, this is soft. So um, I bought myself another Dakimakura. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry, it's fine. There's a, there's a Yuri on the other side. They are husbands, they must never be separated. I mean, it would be kind of nice to get them both on the same side. Just saying. Be right back, guys. You know. Shh, it's fine. It's only it's only for a second. I'll put you back on. Oh God, this this feels this feels wrong, huh? Balls. So when I ordered this, it said it was 160 centimeters, which is what my other one is. But this this is, this is smaller. It did say it was the same length and width as the one that I already owned. Like those were the specifications. But um, it's much smaller. It's about like this much too short and about like this much too thin. Hmm. <sighs> That's okay. I just put two pillows in there. Which means I kind of have to sleep on this now. Okay, so. That's because there's two pillows in it. It's a bit, um, a bit bendy in the middle. God, even Chihoko wasn't this flexible. So, um. <laughs> So this is the new Dakimakura. It's slightly less tasteful than the last one, but still, still nothing. You can't, you can't pull these down. But you know, at least it's like safe for YouTube. Hey, look, you can be my new temporary background Dakimakura. And to go with my new anime boy pillow, how about this? Matt, we have this. This is a blanket, and. Yes, I bought a psychopath blanket. Oh my god, it's so soft. Oh my god, this is so soft. This is a blanket of them. Actually, I'll use my husband as an example. So if you can't tell from the blanket, this is the image which is on it. And I was like, hell yeah, I'm gonna get like a super soft, cuddly version of my husband in like um, some evening wear. Yes, on a blanket, yes. So I did. And now I will sleep with my anime boy pillow and my husbando blanket. I'm sure some people are asking me how I sleep at night and then this is how. Oh, okay. So this one is actually pretty special. Ooh. Oh, these have stamps on. These have Dia de los Muertos stamps on. And that is because this is a package from Mexico. Look what arrived. I'm assuming some of you know what this is already. I am very excited to open this. So this is gold medal. And of course, Yuri's on the back there. And this was a Kickstarter. And this is a Yuri on Ice art fan book. So a bunch of artists all got together and collectively made this amazing little collection of fan art. And it was on Kickstarter to make sure that it could get physically printed and uh, I backed it on Kickstarter and the package that I chose came with a physical copy of the finished manuscript and oh my god gosh the rings are shiny so I am not going to be showing you all of the artworks inside because 
you should definitely back the project. I don't know, I know there's a PDF version of this available, so uh, maybe you can see if the PDF version is still for sale. I know that physical copies are or were for sale at like a convention, or you might be able to pick them up second hand. But there's definitely like an online digital version of this somewhere out there, which you might still be able to buy. So uh, there are comics in here, but if you don't speak the language, you may not necessarily be able to follow them. I know Google Translate exists. I did Spanish for a few years, so I feel like I can model my way through them, probably. And then for anything I can't, it's Google Translate. So for example, there are full colour glossy prints in here. There are also comics as well, like I said, not in English. And just for me, because this is part of the package that I backed, but they also sent some adorable stickers and also some prints as well. And if you guys like stuff like this or would be interested in stuff like this, I highly recommend supporting, like financially supporting um, other artists and fan groups and such because when a project like this comes along, like it's so, so worth backing it. It's so worth backing it. So if it's something you're into and it's something you'd like and it's not a project that you can get directly involved with because maybe you can't write or draw or you can't produce anything like this, then it's not to worry because you can support people financially. Seeing as I have a job and I am an artist, like buying fan art is one of the things that I really, really like to do. I love to support dojinkas of all types, whether it's like physical keychain stuff or posters or art or fan books or dojins, whatever it may be. It pays off so much and you get like really cool, amazing and really, really rare art from your fandoms and I love it. Just, just do it. Just support, support your local fan artists. Oh, here is something branching off fan books onto manga, official manga, and oh my god, a rare manga. You wouldn't think it, but it is. Or at least, it, or at least it is in in England. So you will know that I am currently collecting the Kanjukan Kogami Shinya manga, which is a prequel to the story of the Psychopath anime. What there also is is a manga of just the actual first season of Psychopaths. Just manga exactly the same as the anime. Same story, same characters, blah blah blah, it's the same. Now, they don't make it in English and it's so hard to find, so I have not been able to find this anywhere, but then I went on Amazon Japan and they had some in stock, brand new as well, and really really cheap, and I know what you're gonna say, I don't read Japanese, but at this point I don't care. I will learn Japanese if it's to do with psychopaths. Oh my gosh, here they all are. All of them. Look, all of them. So these look absolutely fantastic and so these are all in Japanese. So each one comes with like a cover and like a little slide out. They're like such tiny manga. I, I really like them. They are all in Japanese, but I mean, I, I know this series pretty well. I mainly just wanted to have the print version of like my favourite, my favourite anime. So that is one of the crowning jewels in my uh, manga collection, if only because they don't make them in English, they're so hard to find in Japan, like they're just, they're not in print anymore and I guess if you can find them somewhere first hand, not second hand, it's, it's not easy. I feel like we should move on to some figures. I did get some figures. It's been a while since I got some figures. I think the last one I got was Miku, I think. So, um, I got some more. Ah! So the first one I got, oh my god, it's so cute, is this Miyuki Nendroid. So if you watch my channel, you'll probably know that I have been watching a lot of Lucky Star lately, and I really like Miyuki. She's my favorite character. I think just because she's cute. <laughs> and so I got this Nendoroid of her. It comes with a few different faceplates and some little school props. And oh my god, it's so cute. So I don't remember whether this was first or second hand, um, but I don't care because I'm going to open it anyway. So if it was still in pristine condition, it's not going to be. I like to open my things, touch them. So I'm just holding her at the moment, but oh my god. There she is, all poseable and cute. And the reason I'm being quite gentle with this is because I just knocked off this little thing. I need to still take off the plastic from 
all like the little connectors on her. Oh my god, I can't decide what face plate to have. Either this one because her eyes are so pretty or this really cute one. Oh my gosh, look. Look how adorable she is. I love her hair. She has such a beautiful long pink hair, which is totally one of the reasons that I am cosplaying as her. This is not the only Miyuki thing I got though. In my defense though, I looked everywhere at like Birmingham Comic Con for like any sort of Miyuki figures and they just didn't have any. They had like no Lucky Star merchandise. Hence this haul. So this is the second Miyuki figure that I bought. Um, this is the Figma and I was kind of tempted to get Konata as well because I love Konata but um, I just went for Miyuki at the moment because She's my fave. This is actually a really, really nice box as well. I can see why people would keep them in something like this, but uh, again, I <laughs> I don't. So here is Miyuki in her cute little schoolgirl outfit and I've given her book to read. The only thing is she's just like floating in midair because the problem is if I try and like push this thing down, it, it bends against her hair and forces her to like bend over. I will also tell you this hand here, not attached to her. Because when I took out the old hand, the peg stayed in it. So this arm has a peg in and because her sleeve puffs out so much, there's literally no way I can get it out. So rather than just gluing a hand on, this one's just, because it's holding the book, it's just floating in midair. And it kind of looks like it's attached to her. So I'm going with this for now until I can figure out a way to fix that. So she's still cute even though I'm gonna have to have her like like this or like this or like something. Usually I like to bend them back and have them stood on here, but I guess they'll just she'll just have to stand a little bit forward. I think my bookshelf is, is like deep enough. Okay, and I am pretty sure that everything else I have is psychopath. I'm pretty sure. So I went a bit mad and I bought a ton of like small collectible things um, from Japan through various different proxy bidding websites, again all linked in the description below. And so this is the result of me seeing anything and being like I want that, I want that, I want that, I want that, I want that. I did! <laughs> Look at all these goodies! So I'm gonna unbox and just blast through these like just, just really, really quick. So I got a Ginoza keychain from Psychopaths. I got two military AU keychains of Ginoza and Kogami. I got a square Ginoza badge. A collectible Gino character card, which is double-sided. A little Butler Gino acrylic stand. A Ginoza postcard. A pack of Psychopath stickers, these are the Akane pack. And this is actually like a little notepad. Another pack of Psychopath stickers, this one is the Ginoza pack. A Ginoza pen. Ah, look at it! A Psychopath keychain, which is obviously Gino. A Ginoza pinched phone charm. A Psychopath wallet, where you can keep your ID or like your train cards. And lastly, a little Ginoza plush. This is the cutest keychain. He comes with a little strap so you can put him on your phone. That is so cute! So in the end, I do have a really tiny husband. Look, look at the size difference. <laughs> he can sit on his head. So guys, that was everything in my huge pre-Comic-Con haul. I, um, <laughs> I ended up buying this stuff over like the space of about a month, maybe more. It's everywhere. I have packaging and goods everywhere. I'm just like, I'm just like sat in a circle of my own anime based shame so that is that is it that is all for today from me and my little anime husband thank you for watching this video remember to leave a like and favorite if you did all information should be in the description box down below but please feel free to leave a comment if there's anything further that you want to ask me do check out the rest of my channel for previous stuff like this and subscribe if you'd like to see more like this especially since in a few days there should be a comic con haul so we will see you guys in the next video. Bye!